people is strong. I thought it's amazing. Uh, I'm happy that these bands uh, retire for years. It takes them years to retire, so <laughs> I can still go out and watch them play. Uh, some bands, you know, take 10 years to say bye. Um, Scorpions and others. Uh, and uh, well, it makes me sad to see Slayer go, obviously, you know, and I, I think you're referring to the tour we've just did, done with them, the Farewell Tour, one of, one of the legs. And uh, it makes us, I mean, it's, it, was, it was a huge honor to be part of it. It was amazing on one hand. On the other hand, it was pretty saddening that, you know, that I've said that a few times already, I just can't imagine a world without Slayer. I can imagine a world without God, but I can't imagine a world without Slayer. Um, but obviously, you know, there's, I mean, things change. People come and people go. And uh, we, I mean, we better get used to the idea that uh, Sabbath is no more, that Maiden is counting the, down the year. You know the days as well. Like all the big bands that we look up to, they will go sooner or later, probably sooner, because they're all in their 50s or 60s. And I've just seen uh, Rolling Stones. Jagger is what 70 or over 70, and he does amazing. But uh, we're just human beings, and we're very crippled, and uh, sorry, we're very fragile, and uh, shit happens. So. What I do these days is like, uh, not only I, I pay attention, but I attend shows more than ever. And I like, in two days, I'll be seeing two maiden shows in a row, like day by day, because I know this is maybe one of the very last times that you'll be able to witness the greatness of of these acts, you know what I mean? And uh, we must realize they, they, are not, they are timeless, but they're not ageless. And uh, they will be gone sooner or later, they will retire. So, but this also proves, I mean, I've just seen Guns N' Roses and, and, and Stones and Metallica and, uh, and funny how they playing their biggest shows in, ever in their career, you know what I mean? Like all of these bands that I mentioned and more, they're just selling out stadiums. The, like like the, the concert business is better than ever. So that the paradox is like the, the, most of these bands, they, they, they won't be doing another three albums and touring for 15 years. There's no way, physically. So the paradox is like they're doing their best. They're at the peak of their careers at least concert-wise, why the, they are literally waving bye-bye to us all. So, yeah, on my hand, on my, I mean, I just want to see as much, so I want to process and digest as much of my favorite music as I can before it's gone.